What we mainly see is that we are uh, very well at getting uh, a common operational picture of the situation that we are uh, involved in, uh, but we are not that well organized yet to work with um, intelligence, uh, real-time intelligence information to, to look uh, and to prognose what will happen in an hour, in two hours, in five hours. We all do that on gut feeling and what we really would like is to do that on, on base of uh, information we have, on data we have, with uh, intelligence software. In a case of mass casualty, the difficulties is to have a good dimension of the event, to send the number of teams, not too much, but not an insufficient number. So you need good information from the field. I think that the most evident problem is how to share data during the emergency with other uh, body, with other uh, services that uh, have to work with us on the rescue. So uh, we are aiming at uh, sharing data uh, through uh, any kind of protocol or system that can allow to avoid uh, misunderstandings and to make a faster data exchange. For me, the key gap at the minute is the presence of a tool which can be used not just in planning but also in responding so that we can teach commanders at operational, tactical and strategic levels how to respond by providing them with information that's relevant to them rather than a large amount of information which can just become background noise. Although we can um, create a common operational picture uh, with our emergency services, um, other countries like for example Germany, um, when we have to deal with international uh, crises, don't have the same way of working as we do. We change information very uh, and distribute information very easily, and and make decisions on on that. And and they have a different way of working. So that's another big challenge uh, once uh, crises uh, go cross border.